There's a thing called pigeon racing, and it's possibly a billion dollar industry. Recently, one bird was sold for a record $1.4 million. It often involves pigeons flying thousands of kilometers. This is how it works. On race day, pigeon fanciers, that's what people who race pigeons are called, release their birds who are hundreds if not thousands of kilometers away from their respective bird lofts. Depending on the race, around 20,000 pigeons can be released at the same time. The shortest can be 100 kilometer sprints. Long distance races can go up to 1,200 kilometers. The speed of the bird is calculated and the fastest bird wins the race. And it takes a pigeon 12 to 14 hours non-stop to travel around 1,000 kilometers. On hot days, they can take longer, as it's believed that they sometimes stop for a quick water break. But that's just a guess, because it's not possible to track the birds with a GPS. Most trackers are still too heavy. So until technology advances, the pigeons have a ring on their foot, which enables the racers to calculate their speed. This is actually how the winners of the race are determined. Minutes after a pigeon arrives at its loft, the owner finds out the speed and the ranking of the bird online. Distance and wind can sometimes be a factor that determines who the winners are. So there's another type of racing. It's called one loft racing. In this case, when a pigeon is born, it's sent to a collective loft. All the pigeons at these lofts belong to respective owners who train the birds at the collective loft. In the race, all the pigeons race back to their collective loft from a set point, competing under the same weather conditions and flying the same distance. This sport is not new. In many parts of the world, the sport was practiced in some form or the other, dating back thousands of years. But the modern form of the sport has its roots in Belgium, where the first long distance races were held in the 19th century. But now, the biggest market is in China. Belgian pigeon Armando, also known as the Lewis Hamilton of pigeons, was sold for a record $1.4 million to a Chinese bidder. He was sold for three times more than the previous record. And now, the new owner hopes that he'll pass on his super genes to his progeny. In China, you don't have casinos. But what is a good alternative for people in China to gamble, and they like to gamble a lot, is pigeon sport. If you want to win a lot of money with the pigeons, the Chinese are thinking we need to buy the best pigeons, genetics. Armando will be used for his mating in hopes that he'll pass his talent to his children and earn millions of dollars for his new owner. In the same auction, seven of Armando's children were sold for $170,000 in total. A regular female pigeon can give 12 to 15 children a year. If well organized, Armando is expected to breed 100 children in a year. The Pioneer International Club in Beijing hosts a series of races where pigeons fly up to 500 kilometers for prize pots of over $60 million. And gambling prizes associated with these competitions spin off millions of dollars or more. The Belgium-based Pipa Pigeon Paradise, which is the eBay of the pigeon buying world, had a turnover of $28 million last year from online and offline pigeon sales. Pigeon racing is not just about the money and the gambling. For me, to see the pigeon arrive, like after a race, 10 hours flying against the wind, it's really interesting. And then, yeah, the, the feeling when they come home, that's the most wonderful thing about, about the pigeon sport for me.